G'day Tubers. So the testing of pack 38 has been completed. Um, now we've got some results I guess you'd say. These two here are completely faulty as with the X on it. So I can't test them. They're completely zero volts. However they're not a dead short. This, the, um, the fuses were not broken. They're just zero volts. So maybe the CID popped or something like that in those ones. Now this pack did go to zero volt. Uh, one volt sorry. Several times. So I've gone through all of them that I can and written on the big number is the old one and the little the little number is the, the newer one. Like we've got here some with 17 100 milliamp hours and then they're 1300 milliamp hours the next time. And the, the one beside it's 2000 and then it's 1900. That one's 2000 and 1900. That's 22 something. What's well, like 2224 and then 2220. So that one's close. Yeah, this one's 1730 and then it's 869. And this one's 2014 and 14. So I'm going to take it over to the computer, enter this all into a spreadsheet and work it out. Now I'm not going to leave it at this. What I'm going to do is I'll replace out these two cells. And then now we've got all of this written on here. I'm going to put this pack back into service again. I'm going to go throw it back. I'll just replace out a random pack put it in there so it's easily accessible and then I'm going to use this I'm going to try and do the same test again three months from today or three months from the day that I install it so let's go back to the computer enter in all this data and um, see what figures we get <coughs> Rightio, in all due fairness this isn't a very good test I've worked out um, this pack was never designed to be tested like this. I, I probably wasn't accurate enough with the writing on it. It was probably close, but I don't know whether I used uh, the IMAX to do it. And in the early days, I did hundreds of cells one at a time with the IMAX. So it is possible that that was done with the IMAX. Uh, it certainly wasn't done with an Opus, but it could have also been done with the digital 4S charger or discharger. So. With the original, uh, with the original capacity, there's going to be some discrepancies. Uh, I don't even know for sure whether they were all done with the same device or half was done with the IMAX and half. I don't know. So, moving forward, this piece of paper, which will be linked below, is just going to serve as almost a reference point moving forward. So, at the end of the day, there was nine thousand. 239 milliamp hours so 9.2 amp hours different so six cells eight cells not even that four cells difference now these cells here I've had to take out because um, they didn't have the old number written on them they were, they were sort of rubbed off so I haven't I haven't bothered including those two and these two were the dead short ones that I had before so I've replaced those out with two and clearly marked them, well, not so clearly marked them, but it says replacement. So, now we're going to build up the pack, put it all back together again, whack a long one on it, put it into the in, back into service again, and see where we end up. And again, I reiterate, I will put this down below, because it is interesting for some, some of the figures, but it's not accurate. In three months' time, this is going to be accurate, and we're going to be able to compare all, all the results... And, and see how much it degrades. Maybe we can do this every three months for a couple of years and see how much it goes down. But from now on, this is going to be the test pack. I've also gone through and put an 80 there. Um, and I'll put a 1 up here just so I know it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to 20 and then back down the pack and then back down the pack um, to the 80th cell so we can um, go down the list and, and make sure we match everything up again. So, tubers, I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, eh?